Hello everyone. To reach the highest and most complete level of ensemble playing, listening is of utmost importance. And by listening, I'm speaking about a type of dynamic listening which requires that several criteria be taken into consideration. First and foremost, we as musicians must always be servants to the music. This means that we must be subordinate to the music in its entirety, which requires an attitude of humility and a willingness to take yourself back if needed. And here, it is absolutely important to identify your own function in the musical process. This means understanding whether you have a leading function or a main line, or if you are a second voice or even an accompanying role. Once this is identified, the listening needs to then not only be limited to the individual parts of the whole, but instead the complete picture, always having an ear to the entirety and following what is most important in the ear. For example, if a phrase and soft line is taken over seamlessly and absolutely perfect rhythmically, but without care in matching the tone color, this does not work. The same is true for the other way round. If a phrase ends, and the tone color is matched, but inorganic rhythmically speaking, this also does not achieve the goal. I also believe that it is possible to train in this type of dynamic listening even in daily life. There exists the monologue, in musical terms solo, the dialogue or duetto, the trialogue or tercetto, or even polylogue, equivalent to polyphony in an orchestra. In a monologue, to follow your own voice is probably the most simple. But already in a dialogue or in a duetto, there is now a partner in the conversation. Therefore, you have to listen with a sensitivity and awareness to react, which already adds another layer. And with the polylogue, this gets even considerably more difficult, as there are now many voices in the conversation. And here, this is a requirement for all orchestral musicians to know and understand when to lead and when to follow and what kind of function you have at every moment, musically speaking. Even when you are not leading, you have to listen to every moment in terms of what is going on in the music making, from tone color to the dynamics to the sound world. And once again, as I said at the start, Humility is needed to really achieve this in an exceptional and true way. From the audience perspective, listening also plays an important role. Firstly, there is the practical aspect of where you sit in the hall and this, of course, plays an enormous role. Is it the top of the hall or perhaps on the floor? Beyond this aspect of where the two ears are physically positioned, there is also the mental component of what you have in mind in terms of expectation. In this regard, listening is an entirely personal and different experience for every individual human. And here again, the element of humility comes into play. To come to the concert experience with open ears and an open mind to be ready for the musical journey ahead. Have fun in listening.